Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's Tritium Talk on Niagara Recover. My name is Nicole Love. I'm the product manager for the Niagara Cloud Suite. I don't know if this is your first Tritium Talk, um, but welcome. Um, today we're gonna. I'm joined by the gracious Kevin Mamajek. <laughs> so I'll be talking about uh, Niagara Recover first, and then Kevin's gonna talk. Uh, gonna show you a demo and show it in action. And then we're gonna give you some action items to tell you more about training, where you can find the materials and more about future Tritium Talks as well as um, the next Tritium Talk that's coming up after this one. So we will, it's, it's 11 o'clock on the dot so we can get started now. Um, the Niagara Cloud Suite, for those of you that might not be familiar with it or might need to get reintroduced to it, Niagara Cloud Suite is one of Tritium's latest releases. Um, it's a scalable cloud-based solution that helps you provide more secure, remote building management so services in accordance with Tritium's model of open and extensible integration with devices, services, and applications. And so um, the prerequisites to it, you need an active SMA, you need to be on a supported version of the Niagara Core framework. So in general, the Cloud Suite will be a suite of services and we're gonna be releasing and have been releasing individual services for it. And this particular one is the latest instance of that. So some of the benefits of it, I know a lot of people always talk about how hard it is to do onboarding, and we have done a lot of that hard work for you. So there's easy onboarding, and it's designed to simplify your journey to the cloud. So if you joined our Tritium talk that was back in January, then you might have already heard about Niagara Data Service. You might have also been talking to some of our salespeople about Niagara Data, Data Service already. We're still going to be releasing more information on that. We've been talking to you, we've been hearing from you, and we're making sure that you're very clear on what it is, how it can benefit you, um, either now or by yourself, or maybe with professional services or one of our partners for that. So stay tuned because there's going to be a future Tritium talk that talks more about how the power of Niagara Data Service can help you with your journey to the cloud. So that was already launched. Recover is what we're talking about today, and that just launched officially. And so that gives you the ability to do cloud backups. So it simplifies your journey, um, the, your backup strategy. And then coming soon, and I know a lot of people have already been asking about that, is Niagara Remote. So we'll be doing a beta of Niagara Remote that's coming up in the next couple of months. And that gives you remote access to your Niagara device from the cloud. So with that subscription, you'll be able to just click a button, log in, and you'll be able to log directly, securely uh, connect to those remote um, Niagara devices. And then it's gonna continue building. So we're not stopping there. These are just the three services that we're gonna focus on talking about now that we have currently in development, but there's definitely more um, in the hopper. So as you subscribe and you stay tuned and you read your emails that you get from us, <laughs> you talk to your salesperson, you'll find about all the other things that we're gonna be doing as part of the Niagara Cloud Suite. So why should you use the Niagara Cloud Suite? So if you're here, I'm assuming that you are already a, a Tritium customer. You're already um, using the Niagara framework. So if you, <laughs> by utilizing the Niagara Cloud Suite, then you already have a way, a source of all the building data. And that, that we've already heard that that's a problem for a lot of people is how do I get all that data from my on-prem system to the cloud? And so we started that with Niagara Data Service already. So with Niagara Data Service, if you subscribe to that, then you have a way to be able to bring that data from your on-prem solution, whether it's your supervisor or your JSIS or one of your Niagara port portability devices, bring that data to the cloud and you can build your own analytics platform, or maybe you wanna be able to build custom dashboards or applications. So that's where you can get with Niagara Data Service. You can reduce your on-site time troubleshooting with remote by um with Niagara Remote because it gives you remote access to it. So you don't necessarily have to do a truck roll every time to figure out what's happening or to make a change because with Niagara Remote, you can remotely connect to that um, to that site and do some troubleshooting before, and then you can determine the type of person that needs to go on site or if someone needs to go on site. And then of course, for today, we want to save you the time and the effort that it will take to rebuild a system if you lose data. Say a controller goes down, a server fails that your supervisor's on, and you don't have a backup for it. You don't you don't have to rebuild that system if you had a backup. So by us provide helping provide you disaster recovery services, then all that work that it would it would take to rebuild that station, you don't have to do that. It's just, it'll be secured in the cloud, and whenever you need it, you just download it 
and rebuild and you're good to go. And that saves you weeks or maybe months of work, depending on how complicated your system was. And so with that, the Niagara Cloud Suite really provides you a cloud native tool set that only we can provide for the community. So we are happy to see everybody that's been engaging with it so far. We're hoping that more of you learn more about what it is and decide that you also wanna try and leverage these as well. So today's topic, Niagara Recover. It's a, and remember, everything about the Cloud Suite is subscription services. So Niagara Recover is a cloud subscription service designed for data backup and recovery that's going to save you time and effort. You don't have to worry about rebuilding your graphics and those alarms and histories, users, every time you need to restore a Niagara 4 device. And you also don't have to worry about managing local storage capacity because we know that sometimes if you have um, some of those larger systems that are running in maybe the JS 8000 and not our new wonderful JS 9000, then maybe you're low storage capacity and you don't have room to be able to do backup backups, or maybe you don't have room to do the backups, or you don't have a good strategy to do the same thing for your supervisor. With Niagara Recover, you can add a subscription to either one of those devices, and their, your data will be secured in the cloud for us with safekeeping, and you can store up to five backups for that. So it, it's automated, um, and when Kevin shows the demo, you'll be able to see that more. So you can either set that and schedule it automated, or you can do it by de on demand, is designed to be more seamless. And one of the feedback that we got from one of our beta customers is they pretty much, they set it and forgot it. And it was, they set it up and it was just there in the cloud waiting for them. So again, remember some of the prerequisites is we wanna make sure that as always, um, we wanna make sure that you're on one of the supported versions of Niagara. So that would be either the long-term 14, um, the latest version of 14 or um, the, the, the 413 with 414 coming up later. So whatever the latest Niagara Framework supported versions are, that's what you would need to be in to get any new updates for it. It doesn't mean that if you have it now, like say you started and you start using one and it's running, um, it's not gonna stop, work, stop working necessarily, but we wanna make sure that as you start that journey that you can leverage all the features or bug fixes, whatever happens that comes along with having like, that latest version of the Niagara Framework. And of course, you want to active SMA to be able to leverage that as well. So the features of that is you can back up your supervisor or your JACE. So there, there'll be a subscription and a, and a different price and SKU for either a supervisor or a JACE. It's browser based. And so which means that as long as you have a web browser, um, then you'll be an internet, um, then you'll be able to access the interface to be able to get to the Niagara Cloud Suite. And it's direct and it's gonna be streaming and it's secure, everything that we do is secure, right? Secure by default. Of course, it's gonna go and stream directly to our cloud storage. You don't have to worry about managing your own from that standpoint. And no limits to the size of backups, which for any of you who might currently be leveraging our backup as a service um, that comes now with, with the SMA, and that's one of the things that we got back from you guys is that the, the, the problem with worrying about the size of your backups, there's no limit to the size of backups. There's more on this one, the, um, the confinement about it is the number of backups for it. This is a peek into the user interface that you see there. So what you see here is an example of our Niagara Cloud Management Plane and you see the save backup. So you see two here, you see a star by the one at the top. That star means that it's a preferred backup. And that preferred backup, when I go to the next slide, you'll see more what that means, but it basically means that's your backup of choice that it, that you'll always have that there, no matter as the new ones come, that one will be there as, as kind of your staple, your baseline backup. So how it works, again, you can do an on-demand on, on one. So from your Niagara station, so from the workbench, you initiate a backup and you can do that um, manually from the create backup feature in our web application. Sorry, not the not the workbench. So you can log into NCS and you can create a backup straight from our web interface. You can do the same thing by scheduling automated backups. And all of that will be stored in the cloud. And if you see the number, it goes up to five and it'll be time-based. That's the backup part. When you want to recover, right now, you can either do the last timestamp because again, it's going to be scheduled or on demand. So the most recent one will be there or you can hit a preferred backup. And when that's there, no matter what other backups come as time changes, the preferred backup will always be there. It'll be in the cloud. Something happens, something urgent happens on site. You need a copy of that. You log into the website, 
you download that backup and it'll be easily retrievable as long as you use your station's passphrase to restore it. And Kevin's gonna also um, do a demonstration of that as well in our demo. So the advantages of it is it's already, it's designed to have easy integration into your Niagara, um, your Niagara network. And like I mentioned before, even those JCs that might be operating close to storage capacity where you might maybe not have been able to successfully complete backups, you can reliably back up those to the cloud now. They're enriched and they're contextualized. All the met metadata details are maintained. You can make notes in that, um, in the backup and recovery process. And of course, our data is encrypted in motion. So while it's going to the cloud and it rests in the cloud. There's no limits to the size of your backups. And so you can back up that JSON, that supervisor, and don't have to worry about how much disk space that you're using because we're managing it. And so you can, again, you can use either on demand or scheduled backups. Um, and, there, and that's easy to do. It takes a few minutes to be able to do it. I think um, in general, we can say like we've gotten feedback and we've tested ourselves like 10 to 15 minutes, you're up and going and it's there for whenever you need it. And it's, all, it's um, all current, the current backup or your preferred backup is accessible and available whenever you need that. And now you've heard me talk all about it. I've hyped it up. So Kevin's going to take over. He's going to show you Niagara Recover at work. Okay, it's not like I've never used Zoom before, but today is just full of surprises. Okay, so let me share my screen. And there we go. I want to share this one. Okay, so before we do this, this is one of those things where, how do I demo a backup? Probably the, the hardest, not the hardest thing to do, the most boring thing to do, right? So I, I know it's like watching paint dry, so, but just bear with me. You want this to be easy and, and I'll, I will show you through that process. So the goal is, right, we want to take information from the JSON or the supervisor, encrypt it and store it onto the server, right? So we've got to somehow transmit that information from inside of our networks into that cloud space, and we need to make sure we do it securely, right? So we've got to encrypt that backup so that no one can intercept it, right? And so Niagara Cloud Suite is all about that encrypted connection to get that information to the cloud, okay? So that's that's my dazzle razzle summary and the cool thing is niagara cloud suite changes the front door keys uh every 90 days so we definitely make sure that it continues to stay secure so let's look at how some of this works right and so i'm going to step back and not talk about um recover i just want to show you how to onboard a jace or a supervisor using the niagara cloud suite because any of the subscriptions is installed the same way, okay? So essentially it's a service and, it, and it's important to understand the reason why is a service because it does a lot of things in the background and communicates to our back end in the cloud to be able to do some of this automated stuff. So I'm not, uh, I don't like all kinds of digital certificates and things of that nature. So I like that the service does all of that on my behalf. So all I'm gonna do is kind of go through here and say, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show it to you because this is what I think is kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna start this registration process. And this is this is the first time that this JACE has uh, in this instance been set up. So I go ahead and say, let's go ahead and, and register this. It will give me a URL that is only, um, that will only work for about 30 minutes, right? And so I take that, if you have your, uh, in your workbench, it whitelisted, it will work. I'm gonna go out into uh, essentially Chrome and finish off the workflow. So I paste that URL uh, into the actual browser and then I'm gonna authenticate, okay? So this authentication, keep in mind, is not usually the customer, it is the integrator that is 
onboarding that uh, Jace or that supervisor on behalf. And so copy that URL, paste it into the browser. I type in my credentials, which I share openly with all of you. And then I choose where this thing's gonna go, right? And so if we look at when I onboard this, um, what is important to see is that once I authenticate, literally it sets up all kinds of stuff for me. That's all I had to do. I type, I added the service. I authenticated in with the Federation Authenticator. It automatically talks to the back end and does everything else for me. Okay. So that's, that's why I'm like, did you see all that? I didn't have to mess with anything else. Credentials. It goes out, gets a, a certificate from the IoT connection that is unique to the connection to this device, sets up that digital certificate, applies it, and begins communicating through that digital certificate, which will rotate every 90 days. And then it goes and looks at all the subscriptions for this particular device and sees that in this instance, it has backup subscription and it also has uh, NDS. That's it. In fact, once I have that subscription, it really does everything automatically, and then I can kind of go in and override it, right? So what I'll do is kind of jump over to Workbench just to kind of walk you through it, right, on how that happens. And so if we look at, let's go into my JACE 9000, right? You'll see that it is running this service called Cloud Connection Service. And Cloud Connection Service then has all of those components. So the one we'll talk about right now in this demo is, is the backup service, right? So it is enabled. It automatically, when it's when it comes down from the subscription, automatically has a policy that is set for every Sunday, right? And so I can go in and look at that and see that it's uh, going to execute on um, every Sunday, plus or minus one hour at 2 a.m., Okay, so that's the default one. So after the subscription or the service is there, I don't have to actually touch it unless I want to go in and override it. And then you can go and create multiple policies, right? I can have one for Mondays or one for Tuesdays or set the hours to, let's see, once a month, 720 hours, right? So that's essentially the, the service that runs. And then you don't touch it again. Look at let's say this particular device. So I have in this device a Jace, a couple of Jaces. Here's the Jace 9000. So we can go look at what backups are there. So I've logged in as the customer, I've logged in as the admin. So I'm gonna see all the devices. The customer would only see their particular device or I'll show you in a second what they have access to. And so you'll see here, I have several backups that are there. Um, just like uh, Nicole was saying, you can go in and create a note. This is new um, backup level set, and I can make that preferred. So now this particular backup will never be deleted. It will round robin the other four. So every Sunday you'll see a new backup that comes into the um, backplane here that we can see. And then this is where I can actually then go and download this type of information, right? So I can go and say, well, I really want to download this backup because I'm going to do a restore. So I'm going to click on download. It's going to download in my downloads folder. And one important thing is, is Nicole said it, and I will kind of reiterate it. It is, um, it's encrypted. It's encrypted with the actual passphrase of the JACE. Why that's important is that if you are used to um, installing disk files, right, from a backup, there's one step extra that you're gonna have to do to be able to um, restore that to that particular JACE, okay? So that's that's pretty much it, right? It They happen automatically, they show up here under the device. Um, I can look at, one other thing here, and that is what I want to do is look at 
this particular user. So part of uh, a new update to the Niagara Cloud Suite is I can actually get very specific of what the customer can see when they log in, right? So we actually have it tied now down to a device level. So if, you're, if you've watched any of the other Tritium talks on Niagara Cloud uh, Suite with the data services, this is a new uh, component that has showed up and that literally allows me to go in and say, you know what, I want this particular user only to have access to this particular JSON's backups or data. Okay, so that's pretty powerful. So that's something new since it's in the cloud. Um, one day you just wake up and it's there. So it's pretty cool. So that's, that's essentially how we see the backups. When we look at um, how the backups appear, right, is I've downloaded um, that particular backup, right? So it's an edist2. So I'm going to throw that into my um, backups. Throw it into my backups. I have to get used to Windows 11. So I'll give you new tabs, but evidently I have to chase through that. So this is in my um, my user folder, right? So I downloaded it. it. Was in my backup or in my downloads? I just put it over into the user space to make it easy to find it. And so that is a, uh, like I said, an edist2. So the kind of the um, workflow that you go through, and you pretty much, if you've used cloud backup, this is the same workflow. Uh, there's nothing that's changed on that. So all I have to do is go into my um, my file store. Uh, if we go and look under backups, we'll go and make sure I refresh that. We can go in and look at that. And you'll see there is that encrypted distribution file. All I have to do is just double click on it. And this is where it's going to ask you for the passphrase of that supervisor or that JACE. So once I type that in, it says it's successfully decrypted and I'm off to the races, right? So now I have a actual distribution file that's now unencrypted that I can actually do a restore with the platform. Okay. So that's pretty much in a, a nutshell on how the service gets installed, right? And then how the subscription automatically appears if it's enabled. It defaults to every Sunday plus or minus an hour, backs it up automatically. I can log into the um, Niagara portal, Niagara Cloud Suite portal, look at those backups, set those backups, put comments on those backups, protect one to keep for forever if that was the baseline of the building and download it to restore it. And I'll send it back to Nicole. Thank you, Kevin. Great job as usual. Let me go back to you. Hmm. All right. So again, the Niagara Cloud Suite is going to do have the easy onboarding for you. You've seen some of the cloud um, user interface simplify your journey to the cloud. You actually saw an example on how we actually have honed in on the controls to make it easier to manage that as well. Today we talked about Niagara Recover, but we also mentioned and referred back to Niagara Data Service. And coming soon, I want to make sure I went back to this slide because. You'll see the other note that I put there, Niagara Remote Beta. So stay tuned for your email, re contact your distributor, your account manager, because you'll have the ability to sign up to beta, the, the remote access to those, um, to your Niagara devices. So I don't know if you saw um, or you know that, but there is, and, and some of you might, you like, you might stop Tritium University. So if you do, then great, because there is a new training there um, for Niagara Cloud Suite that you can use to reference. You go there, and when you get this presentation, there's a link that takes you directly there. Our wonderful um, training staff has created the first instance of the Niagara Cloud Suite training, where you can understand what it is overall, and we'll be. Passing, um, creating other instances of it to where we maybe deep dive a little bit more into NDS, focus in on some of the other features, but we want to make sure that you always have the information that you need and you're very clear on what Cloud Suite is and what it isn't. And I referenced this before, but go ahead and sign up now. Again, this when you get the deck, the link will be there, or you might have already seen the email on it 
there, but with the next Tritium Talk from Niagara Class Suite is going to be November 2nd, same time, same place on the power of Niagara Data Service. And our special guest for that is going to be Ellipsa. And they're going to show you some of the work that they've done using and by creating a solution where, that's powered by Niagara Data Service. So if some of you have still been trying to figure out how do I use that, what do I do, what's the possibilities, this could be an example of something you can look at to see on, on what's possible um, with Niagara Data Service. And if you want to find out how you can do uh, more Tritium Talks, There'll be a link here, but if you see the bar at the top, if you go to our website and go to services and support and click on events, you'll be able to see all the previous Tritium talks as well as be able to re uh, register for some of the upcoming ones. So if you ever you want to go back and look at the last session that we did on Niagara Data Service, you can do that. You want to go and hear about the Tritium talk that we just had on the JS 9000? You can do that too. All of the Tritium talks would end up being there. So you can either navigate there right now by going to services and support and events, or you can wait till the debt comes and the link will take you directly to that location. And if you want more pro tips, um, there's a link here, but you can go to our YouTube channel and you see Kevin there on the left, you see the, uh, the wonderful James Johnson. There'll be various videos that give you pro tips on how you can use the Niagara framework. And then as we go through time, we'll be adding in some of, maybe even some pro tips on how you can leverage Niagara Cloud Suite. So thank you for joining us today. We hope you learned something. I think we've been answering things in the chat. I'll go and, and look um, and see if there's anything that hasn't been answered so far. But as usual, you want to learn more about how you purchase or you want to start using Niagara Recover, contact your Tritium account manager or your Niagara partner. So let's see. Um, so I see the question on backup as a service. Will it still be available or will you be forced to migrate to it? So back. Backup as a service right now, of course, if you're an existing customer, you will still have that. We'll be um, communicating with you in the future on how we can uh, start a migration journey for you there. And no storage limit. Um, the pricing, again, um, and, and also on the in the deck will be any of the feature overview as well as the data sheet. And again, you can talk to your account manager and it'll have the pricing on how it goes there. And I think Craig is answering that other question in the chat. So that's it for today. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you learned something. We hope you reach out to us if you want to still be able to try it. We passed our beta period, but there might be an opportunity for you to still do a quick 30-day test or something like that. So if you're interested in trying it out, then reach out to your Tritium account manager or your Niagara partner, and we'll work with you on how we um, can start your journey with that. If you want to um, to find out more about Niagara Data Service, same thing. If you want to be able to sign up for beta, you can contact me directly or again, your account manager. Um, if you want to start out for the beta period of that, and that will start about November, December for um, Niagara Remote. So let me know. We thank you. Hope you had a good day. Take care. <laughs>